In today's video, we're going to be going to reach and qualifying for the second time for the new Cornwall World Champs 2023. Of course, um, I qualified last phase. This phase is not weeks this time, but yeah, so I qualified last phase, and um, what we're doing is the same in this this phase. Um, so yeah, if you do want to enjoy the video, make sure to of course like and subscribe. And my, my two weapons of choice this this time are the uh, the CR4 and the uh, Cordite. So if you want to learn some of those, then make sure to stay tuned to the end for that. And let's get into the uh, World Champs. Today's day shout out goes to Mr. 89MS. They have 788 subscribers, so it's like a bigger channel. Uh, they, uh, they they do mainly Battle Royale content. So, yeah, if you do want to enjoy any of their videos, then make sure to, of course, like any videos you do enjoy. If you enjoy their channel, then make sure to subscribe to their channel. And, uh, yeah, uh, of course, I'll be leaving a link down below in the description and up on this screen here. Yeah, if you do go, if you do over and leave, leave look over, leave some positive comments, and, and if there's anything that you, you they can improve on, then make sure to of course uh, let them know with some constructive criticism and uh, supportive comments. And yeah, make sure to over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see, here we are in the World Champs section. As you can see, we have about five hours left to actually complete all the games, so we're going to go over this quickly. Uh, if you want to go register. And uh, they also, apparently it automatically goes through uh, the second time you do it, but uh, you, you would have had to select your region and go straight and um, agree to a couple of things. And yeah, here, here are all the games. As you can see, I've done no games. I get 20 points per win. So yeah, let's get into the uh, the games. I'll probably, yeah, uh, I will show all 10 games. I know, uh, I'm pretty sure I will uh, qualify. I should be able to win three games. So yeah, um, which I thought I'd show you me uh, registering. And yeah, now let's get into, of course, the, the, the 10 games. Jeez, man. Hard point lost. 
actually have cool mates, bro.
PGs, I guess. Jeez, bro. Okay, so as you just saw, and as you can see here, I won five and lost five, so it's better than last week where I won four, won four and lost six. And we have gained 100 points, which is exactly double what we needed. So, yeah, let's claim some of the rewards quickly. Um, and then I think we have to go into our mail. Um, and then we have to. Can we just collect all of these? Yeah, Marvel is red. And we are there is the Kilo Sonic Wave. And all the rest of it we already had. So yeah, let's get into the train mode and I'll show you off of course the Kilo. Okay, so here we are in the train mode. As you can see I have I think it's the uh it's the Kilo one for one, I think it's the Sonic Wave <laughs> uh, but yeah no, I, I said I said before you obviously might not watch that video, but um, this is actually a really nice skin. And uh, not the best um chance skin, but still. Well, no, of course it's a free skin, so I still recommend picking it up. I think this is on the uh, on the on the um, Aquila, which is arguably the best uh, AR in the game. Right? Um, I thought it's going to get a 10.5 out of 10 for me, I reckon. Not the best, but not the worst. It's, it's, it's good for a free skin because it's, like, it's animated and stuff, and it goes well with this season as well. And as I said, it's also on, on, on one of the best guns in the game as well. So, yeah, def definitely an interesting one. Well, as I'll show you some of the stats of the um, Kilo also here. Of course, uh, the hit plus red um, isn't the worst one, so. It's, it's, it does have quite wide spread, so it's only like, yeah, you know, 4 out of 10 for the lower hit plus spread, and the recoil is uh, relatively controllable actually, so. Which was well, probably one of the best ARs in the game. I can see it's pretty much all horizontal recoil, it kind of goes off to the one side near the end of this row. But um, that might just because I have a slightly more slightly slower build, of course. So, definitely an easy one to control. And we have 29s. And then 40 to the head. Is that, is that, um, hang on. That's 29 all the way up. That's 29 all over the body and 40 to the head. Nice and consistent, I, I see that. So you don't have to be overly uh, hyper accurate, but I think, you have, I think it's two headshots. You have to take at least two headshots to make it a three shot, so add that range.
Okay, so the down to damage doesn't just record outside that range. So still two headshots. Let's get three shot. Okay, only drops off by a little bit, so it just goes down to 23, so it's still a guaranteed 5 shot. Oh, come on, I can't even hit the head at this point. Yeah, no, not okay. 23, and then I'm going to shoot it somewhere like 35 or something to the head. So yeah, definitely one, definitely one, definitely a skin to check out, and definitely a definitely a gun to check out as well. Of course, I didn't use it in this video, but yeah. And in terms of the, the gun I did use in this video, the Cordite and the and the uh, CVR4, I actually preferred the Cordite in this video. Um, but that might maybe that's just me. I don't know. But yeah, the Cordite felt a lot better to me than the uh, than the than the CBI did. So yeah. Now, of those two, would highly recommend checking out the Cordite. Of course, I will give you the uh, the, the two builds for them. I probably actually would have already given them to you. But yeah. And then of course I did default on sites, which are which are on the what wasn't actually that bad in uh, on the QLC so yeah now it's uh yeah I think this will probably be the end of the video actually. Okay, so it's a CBR4 loadout, uh, it's of course a range accuracy build because uh, this is a highly versatile SMG um, that provides better at uh, that actually at uh, medium low range more than close range. So yeah, we have the monolithic expressor with a plus sign severity and plus 10% damage at range even. We have the MIP extended light barrel for the minus 10% ATS bullet spread, plus 15% damage at range and minus 10% uh, horizontal recoil. We have the YKM light stop for the minus plus 15% ATS movement speed and minus 15% speed to fire delay. With the OWC attack laser, so minus 8% AGS tower, minus 9.2% AGS bullet spread. And finally, we have the Grand Native Crypto for minus 11.6% AGS bullet spread. And then here's the color loader I used. Of course, it's another range active yard, and this is another highly versatile SMG. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely one to check out. So we have the uh, Monolith Expressor for the plus science ability and plus 25% damage at range. That's uh, slightly more useful there. And we have the MLP extended light barrel for the minus 5.6% AGS bullet spread. Plus 25% damage at range and minus 13.1 horizontal recoil. Then we have the OWC attack laser for minus 8% ATS time and minus 9.2% ATS bullet spread. And we have this 800 send map for plus 14 mag capacity. And finally, we have the granulated tape for the minus 11.6% ATS bullet spread.